In this video, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to create content that your readers will find interesting and engaging. So let's get started and learn how to write better blog posts together. We are going to generate the topic, the title, the outlines, introduction, body and conclusion, all using ChatGPT. I'll also talk about plagiarism, checking for plagiarism. I'll tell you how you can edit and revise this document. Then I'll also tell you how you can add your images and media to your blog post. First of all, you should have a topic of what you want to write about in mind. So for me, my topic is email marketing. But if you don't have any topic and you need ideas, just go to ChatGPT and generate topic ideas on what you want to write about. So here I'll type, I need 10 topic ideas on a blog that is about email marketing. And here you see that ChatGPT is going to generate lots of ideas that you can use to write your blog posts. If you go through them and you feel like you need more, you can just type, I need 10 more topic ideas. Then from the ones it gives you, you can choose anyone that suits you best. So for me, I'm going to go with this one that says the top five email marketing strategies for increasing sales. I'll copy it and come right here to my word document and paste it. And that's it for our topic. Next one we're going to be looking at is the title. You come over to chat gpt and type give me 10 different titles for the topic you want to write about in my case here i'm writing about the top five email marketing strategies for increasing sales so i'm going to type it in here and generate my titles and you can see chat gpt it's going to give us different titles that we can use for our topic I'm going to select this one that says how to use email marketing to skyrocket your sales in five simple steps, then I'll paste it in my Word document. A topic refers to the general subject or theme that a piece of writing or conversation is centered around, while a title is a specific heading or name given to a piece of writing such as an article, book or a blog post. So my topic is top five email marketing strategies for increasing sales. Why my title is how to use email marketing to skyrocket your sales in five simple steps. The next is the outline. So I'll come to chat GPT and type create a detailed outline on the blog post titled how to use email marketing to skyrocket your sales in five simple steps. You should notice here that I used the title and not the topic because the title is what we are going to be using. It's what your readers are going to be seeing. So you want to make sure that the blog post is in accordance with the title. And here you can see that ChatGPT is generating the outlines that we are going to be using to write our blog post. That's it for the outline. I'm going to copy these outlines and paste it in my Word document. Now that you've gotten an outline, the next step is to ask ChatGPT to write your introduction. I come to ChatGPT and prompt it to write me an introduction for my blog post title. And you can see it's going to start generating our introduction for the blog post for us so guys take a moment and smash the like button if you're getting value from what i'm teaching you in this video and su subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this so you see it's done and if you don't like it you can just prompt it to give you something better so here i'm going to type I need a more detailed introduction. ChatGPT is going to give you something better than the first one which it gave. So I think I'm going to go for this second one here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it in my Word document. We've successfully generated our introduction. So you can now edit this introduction to your taste, add your own touch, expertise and knowledge if required. The next step is to create content for each subheading detailed in your outline. And the reason we are doing this is because if you give chat GPT poor prompts, it's going to give you poor results. So what we are going to be doing here, it's simple. In order to get the best results, you take a subheading and ask it as a specific question in chat GPT. So before that, let me quickly copy this introduction and paste it in the blank word document so that our blog post is going to be organized and arranged. So that's it. And like I said before, we are going to take a subheading and ask it as a specific question in ChatGPT. And you can see here from our outline, step one says, define your target audience. And the first subheading says, explain why it's important to define your target audience. So I'm going to copy it 
go over to ChatGPT and paste it there. And just a quick tip, make sure to add briefly explain like make sure you add briefly so it doesn't give you something that is very long because we are going to be doing this for all of our different subheadings we got from our outlines and you see that chat gpt will explain why it's important to define your target audience the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this head over to my word document and paste it there the second subheading here says Provide tips for identifying your target audience, such as analyzing customer data and surveying customers. So I'll copy it and paste this in chat GPT. And remember to add briefly, briefly, so it doesn't give you something that is way too long. And that's how you can go about it. So just take each of the outlines and ask them as a specific question in ChatGPT. So guys, if you're getting value, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you like to see more content like this. And now it's done, I'm going to repeat the same process. I will copy it and paste it in my Word document. And that's how you can easily go about creating the body of your blog post. I'm just going to do one more, then we move over to the next step because I don't want this video to be way too long. The third one here says, offer examples of how different businesses have defined their target audience. So I copy it and paste it right here. So you can see it's done generating and here you can see here it says Starbucks, Apple, ETC. So this is literally how you can generate a unique content for your blog post you have to do this if you want to get the best out of chat gpt because poor prompt if you give it poor prompts it's going to give you poor results the next step is to ask chat gpt to write a conclusion and if you would like to end with a specific call to action it's best to include it here as well in my case here, I wrote, write me a conclusion for the blog post titled, how to use email marketing to skyrocket your sales. And here I told ChatGPT to end with a strong call to action, encouraging readers to start implementing the strategies to increase sales. And that's the best practice to use to write your conclusion. Another important tip is to make sure you check for plagiarism, edit and proofread your blog post. Although ChatGPT generates unique text, it's not always guaranteed, therefore it's essential to review the content to ensure it is original. Grammarly is a widely used free tool that can be utilized to check spelling, grammar and plagiarism in written content. So I suggest before publishing the AI generated contest, it's recommended to take a few minutes to copy it and paste it into Grammarly's plagiarism checker for a quick review. This step can help to ensure that the content is original and free from plagiarism. I'll leave the link in the description box below and you can sign up for it if you don't have an account. So the last and final part of this video is adding images and other media. So we know that pictures, videos or infographics can make your blog posts more engaging and visually appealing. So you can get images from Pixabay or Pexels. I'm going to leave the links to all these sites in the description box below so make sure you check it out. And guys, please, it is crucial to review and edit any content created by ChatGPT. So make sure you double check and make necessary adjustments during the review stage of your blog post. You can also use Grammarly to edit your blog post. Now that's it for the end of this video. If you got any value, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell. And if you have any questions, ask me down in the comment section below and I'll be there to answer you. Thanks for watching.